What's up everyone, it is Baron here. Before we get into it, I want you to go and check out our channel memberships and patrons. Also check out our merchandise and use my Star Citizen referral code. But now we're going to get into it. So we're going to be going over the Drake Vulture and if it's good for you. Now I know a lot of you like Skeleton Crew, so this per ship should be perfect for you. I know it's a small ship. Now from my understanding, uh, as mentioned by a few other channels, that ships will work in a one way so in each class there will be a capital a large a medium and a small so this is a small ship and obviously the reclaimer is a large uh, salvaging ship so going over this ship it's going to be a fa i love the design i like how it's going to only need one person but will you need an escort as well let me know down in the comments what your gameplay intentions are and whether or not you intend to do salvaging as well so going over the little drake vulture it seems like a great ship it's about the same size as a cutlass black which is also really great obviously it's going to be really maneuverable and whatnot and going over it we'll go into the technical overview uh it's going to have a small radar small computer small power plant uh, two small coolers, two small shield generators, two small fuel intakes, small fuel tank, small quantum drive, small jump module, small quantum fuel tank, and then you've got one retro thruster, you've got one main thruster, and you've got 24 fixed maneuvering thrusters, and then you're also going to have two different mounts of uh, a small size one weapon, and then you're going to have your tractor beam and your scraper beam. So with the scraper beam, I would say that this is the beam right here. And then you've got the tractor beam through here pulling it into the actual ship, which is going to be quite interesting because this is going to be used to break um, salvaging down when you like the, the hull of a ship or just anything in general. And then you can also salvage the components, which I'm going to be using in my gameplay loop, as you guys will know. So my thoughts on this ship are, it's a great ship and you can get it at the moment. If you are in the chairman's either get in your entrepreneur pack or you can go and get it in the tycoon pack. It's all up to you. You can get the reclaimer as well. That is completely dependent on what you guys want to do in the game myself i wouldn't mind getting a vulture but i don't know if i would actually pay real money for it because the whole perspective of how it works is that people will buy a larger ship like a capital or a large and then they'll work down their way down to the smaller ships because it's just not worth paying for, for real money unless you've got a uh, praetorian or legatus it, it's all dependent so Talking in that matter, I would then concentrate on this ship. If you want to get this as a um, pledge ship, you can use it through a CCU chain so that when, once it comes out, you can actually use that ship and be like, oh, yep, cool, that's how it works, and then pass it on and go through your CCU chain to the next ship that you would like to get. Now, being the ship, it's small, obviously. Being at the size that it is as well, then you go up to specifications. You've got 33 meters long, 16 meter beam, 9 meters in height. Uh, it's a so small size. Uh, it's 114,000 kilos, 12 cargo capacity. Now, it also says that it's supposed to have a large shield on it as well, so that'll be very interesting. But for now, we'll just say two small shield generators. But then again, it could just go to a large just to make that a little bit easier and consolidated where you don't have to have two shield generators. Um, so looking at this ship as well, like I said, it's a great ship. Uh, if you want to get it, I would get it because obviously a lot of people like using skeleton crews as mentioned per previously when people like to use uh, think about the Perseids. But then, yeah, it's, it's, that's a whole different other thing. Um, I myself, like I said, I... I'm going to embrace the salvaging gameplay. A lot of people probably won't see the like the the matter in having this gameplay there, but I definitely will because it's just going to be so uh, profitable. It's going to have such a good game uh, experience and it's sort of going to teach people some lessons about uh, gameplay loops if they do it by themselves as well. But again, you might need someone to do an escort in case there is that issue of pirates being. Um, and like an issue later on down the track it's all dependent uh, this ship does have a brochure as well so you can just scroll through that check it out I mean I like the ship I like Drake ships they all look cool like the Kraken as well that thing makes me just uh. so it's got one time size 2 tractor beam and one time size 2 uh, scraper beam as well so the weapon's got two size ones and then your life support is uh, one size of one so completely up to you what you guys want to do with it or if you want to get it at all, I would say get it in game. Maybe if you want to use that as a CCU chain, go for it. And then you can use that later on once you have that ability to CCU to something else. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. The ship uh, standalone is 140 US dollars, 120 pledge. It was originally 120 dollars. So that could also go up in price once it is released as well. So you got scraper beans, integrated tractor rig, uh, cargo, long haul capable, central initiative system. So you sort of control everything from where you sit. 
Um, so it is a starter salvage ship. Um, it does have like it says it does have plenty of storage on board for your salvage operations. Like I said, you can use this in loop with the Crucible to repair those components and endeavor to overclock them and sell them on your merchantmen or if you want to keep those components for yourself. It's completely up to you. Let me know down in the comments what you're going to be doing for your salvaging loop and how you're going to be um, pretty much executing how you want to do that. But like I said, it's a great ship. It's about the same size as the Cuddy Red or in the Cuddy Black, uh, but it is about three meters long, well, three meters longer. The Drake is, well, the Cutlass is three meters longer than that. But yeah, join the Discord server as well and show me your fleets. I really am interested in what you guys do in-game. Share this video with everyone because it would seriously help me out. Um, and I'll be doing a lot of Invictus stuff once that comes out. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the verse.